There's several ways to remove things from your transcript and or your video. The first one is delete. So to delete something, you just highlight it on the transcript and press delete on your keyboard or on a Windows keyboard, it'll be backspace, but I'm gonna undo that. The other option, and this is my recommended way, is the strikeout. If you see this S with a line through it, that's what it's called ignore. So if I click on that, you can see it puts a strike through and makes it light gray, the part that I had selected and it removes it from the video. So it's effectively deleted, but it keeps it here for situational awareness. So that's why I recommend it in case there's something that you want to bring back or you decide that you want to keep it, then you can simply unrestore it or unignore it and it comes back. And if you click this little drop down arrow next to the ignore button, there is the ignore media. That's the one we just used, delete. That was the first one we did with hitting delete on our keyboard. And then there's replace with gap, which will delete it and turn that selection, which was 4.63 seconds long. I can see that down here in the bottom left with blank. There's no sound and there's no visual. It's just a black screen and there's no sound. Now, if I make a selection again, go back to this drop down. The last one is removed from transcript. And if I click on that, it removes the words from the transcript but it leaves that part of the video in there. So you can see my sound waves are still down there. And it took the words and and then, and it, it tried to map it over the existing sound waves, even though it doesn't actually line up there. But um, the transcript portion of that part of the video is now gone. So those are your options when it comes to removing things from the transcript, from the timeline, and from your video.